Hi everybody, it's Chris at Green Our Planet. If you were with me last week, you remember that I started an experiment in my Cracky hydroponics system. I got to thinking about what I was doing and I realized that I'm using what's called the scientific method. You may have heard about this in science class, right? As you may know, all good experiments start with a question. My question was, will a lettuce cutting grow more lettuce than lettuce plants started from seed. So I took a lettuce cutting, so that is part of a lettuce, a head of lettuce at the bottom, and I placed it in one half of my crack key system. And then I placed some lettuce seeds in a little planting pot in the other half of my system. So that was my procedure. So I had a question and I set up a procedure. Part of my procedure was to place this in a sunny window and also I have a grow light. So I used the window and the grow light. Then over the course of the week, I did some observations. Observation just means that I was looking at it, right? I watched it to see what was going on. And I even took some data. I didn't write anything down with my data. What I did was I took some pictures. So pictures, taking pictures is a way that you can keep data on an experiment. So. I had a question, I came up with the procedure, I made some observations, and I took some data. So today I wanna to share with you the observations that I have of my experiment. So here's what my crack key system looks like today. You can see, if you look at it from the side, you see that lettuce cutting? There's some leaves coming right out of the middle of that cutting. And if you get a little bit closer, you can see that over here, I have two seedlings. So that means that two of my lettuce seeds sprouted. Hey, do you remember, there was a science word for sprouted. Do you remember what it was? Yes, it was germinated, germinated. So two of my lettuce seeds have germinated. And then I also have some new growth coming out of my lettuce cutting. Now something that I noticed and I wondered about when I started this experiment was, would there be any roots growing on the cuttings? I pulled the cutting out of the system and I noticed there are on the bottom, right close to the edge. Do you see right here, this little structure? There are a couple of those that seem to be growing out of the side of the cutting. And so I'm wondering if those aren't perhaps some kind of root structure, or maybe something kind of like a root. I'm going to keep making observations and see how that turns out. So as I move forward, I'm going to continue to make some observations and take data. Eventually, I should be able to answer my question. And once my question's answered, then I can share the results, right? That's the scientific method. Science is so easy, right? How about we test our knowledge a little bit? Let's think about the scientific method. I'm going to say some words, and I want you to think about whether they are part of the scientific method. Let's start with observation. Is observation part of the scientific method? Yes, it is. Observation is what you're doing when you are watching your experiments. How about procedure? Is procedure part of the scientific method? Yes, it is. The procedure is the steps that you take to set up your experiment. How about germination? Is germination part of the scientific method? No, germination is not. Germination is what happens when a seed is sprouting, right? That's the scientific word for a seed sprouting. Data. Is data part of the scientific method? Yes, data is the information that we get as we're making our observations. Sometimes we might write something down, maybe we take some measurements, other times we might just take pictures. Those are all forms of data. What about a question? Is a question part of the scientific method? Yes, it is. The question is really where you start. All good experiments start with a question. Is sharing the results part of the scientific method? Yeah, it is. Because once you do your experiment, you wanna share your results. That's how scientists learn things. They do experiments and they share the results with others. 
Also, I want to remind you, we're still running our contest for the wicking hydroponic systems. If you've built one of these, be sure to take some video or some photos and send it to Virtual Academy at greenourplanet.org by May 1st. This is for the contest. You will be in the running to win a $25 Amazon gift card. So that's everything for today. I'm gonna to keep taking care of my experiments and I hope you do too. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.